when we were talking before and you shared this when we we had met um as we were planning for july um you, you really kind of focus on this idea of know your impact and this is a, a big theme for you in fort ben isd and i know something that you take really personally can you tell us a little bit about that what what you mean by know your impact and, and why it's so important to the work that you do today well first of all i think there's never been a time at least in my career where it's more important that we let teachers and educators know the impact that they're making. Uh, a lot of people have retired early after COVID. They've left the profession. They're stressed out by student behaviors that are different than prior to COVID. So we've had all of that that's impacted our profession somewhat negatively. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to let them know they make a difference. So we started with our theme. And then I shared with you about Virtus Wilson reaching out to me. And so when he did that and I connected with him, then I thought, wow, he's let me know I made that impact on him um, just by my kindness and look, finding him. And because back in the day, we didn't know where kids went. I had to yeah. get the phone number, talk to the grandmother, get permission to drive out there, pick him up. And it was a whole different thing just so I could have closure. So he could have closure yeah. because that's not healthy for kids. But what it made me think of is what am I doing to let educators know that made a difference to me? So I reached out to a woman named Pauline Barker. And she was my supervising teacher, in Missouri State, when I was in college. And she was a second grade teacher. And that's where I did my student teaching. And her classroom was just so fun. And she was so positive. And I stayed in touch with her for a while. But then I lost touch. And it made me think, I wonder if I can find her. And yeah. so I went through the Alumni Association and found her because the lab school was on campus. So it was connected to the university. And uh, they would only reach out to her with my name. They wouldn't obviously let me have her number. So that mm -hmm. took a while. But one day my phone rings and it's her. And we had the best conversation and she remembered me. And uh, just, she, was, she was most proud, honestly. Not so much that I was a superintendent, but that I got a doctorate. <laughs> That's what she was proud of, that I went on with my education. And um, But here's what she said to me, and I think this is so powerful, and I've told this to my staff. She said how much it meant that I reached out and told her she made a difference. She, she taught me how to teach. And I'm still teaching today. It's just that my classroom is ginormous. Mm -hmm. And... Um, she said, you know, when you're 83, no one tells you that you made a difference much anymore. And I'll never forget her saying that to me on the phone. And so I've written her several times and I've sent her some communications from our school district. And uh, just always, I always say, you, I told her about who's your Virtus that I asked my leaders, who's your Mrs. Barker, because I want them to tell me, hey, who are you reaching out to? It's not just about us sitting around and waiting on a child to tell us we made a difference. It's about what are we doing for that pay it forward moment. And so we spend a lot of time, every leadership meeting, we do that. She is so proud of that. She is so proud of that. And so um, she's Mrs. Barker and uh, she, she taught me how to teach and I'm forever grateful.